Hi, this is Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to go over the differences between our workflow software. What we're talking about is Darkroom Core, Darkroom Pro, and Darkroom Assembly. Booth is made specifically for photo booths, so this wouldn't be considered one of our workflow software. So, in my computer, I have Darkroom Pro opened right here, and this is where I'd say the, the big differences are uh, in Pro and Core. We'll talk about assembly a little bit later, but for Pro and Core, the main thing that you're going to look at is the printers. Darkroom Pro has um, a bunch of printers that Core doesn't have that are specific for large volume studios and photo labs. So what we're talking about is the big car sized printers, truck sized print printers, like um, the Noritsu LPS 24. I worked in the photo lab, that was a big printer that we used to print 24 inch prints by let's say 36. So if you're using a die sub printer, like a, a DNP printer, um, or a the Fuji DX100. Those are two great. Uh, well, the 620 for the DMP printer. Those are two great printers for this type of event photography workflow. Then Core Edition is probably the way to go. And the reason why I'm saying Core Edition and leaning more towards Core is because there are very few op options in Pro that most people need. Now there is the the fear that you're going to buy a a version and then find out later that you want to have, let's say, networking. Um, so if you get Core Edition and later you say, I want to network um, my computers, you would need Darkroom Pro and Darkroom Core. So at that point, you would get Darkroom Pro when you're ready to expand. And what we're talking about here is the networking options in uh, here. So you can have your computer set to a single computer or a client computer in core. In Pro, you can have your computer set to a server. And what that means is you're gonna share information amongst the computers. Uh, you can have a capture station, a sales station, um, and then the server would work as the brains or the hub um, and handle the printing. So if you're gonna have a, do a large event or you need multiple capture stations and be able to share information. So one person gets a picture taken in one place and they get another picture taken in another place, like let's say an amusement park. And then you have an area where uh, as they're, they're checking out through the gift shop, they uh, are sold packages. That's great for Darkroom Pro. But if you're not there, start off with Core and as you expand, then you add Pro as your server and then additional Core additions as your clients. So um, let's switch back over to the printers because there was uh, a couple printers that I did leave out um, that are kind of helpful, specifically the raster image printer. Um, what that allows you to do is print an 8x10 or a 5x7, whatever size you set up, directly to a folder. So let's say your printer goes down, the one that you're using, you can then turn on a raster printer to output all your 8x10s, all your 5x7s, take a, a flash drive over to your local pro lab and say, hey, can you print what's on this flash drive? Um, and the folders will tell you what size they are and just print the whole folder at that size. So the raster printer and the generic roll printer, um, but most of the time the uh, digital media option works just as well for most of the uh, options. You, you just set up a 8x10 digital media and 5x7 digital media, put a template on it, it'll crop it and output the right size. So there's ways to do it with Core and save yourself a little bit of money. And then the last, this is I, I would say a lesser uh, feature because it's used by less people, but um, the online input command folder um, but if you're using, let's say, Got Photo um, to sell online, or you have you've built your own online sales, um, and you need a, a folder that's going to watch a command text document and then process images, if that makes sense to you, then that's kind of a helpful thing. That's only in uh, in Pro and Assembly. So those are three things that I would kind of pay attention to whenever you're you're thinking about which is right for you. Um, whether you're going to have a big, big Noritsu printer or big Fuji printer, um, not the DX100 because that one's at like a desktop and that one's in Core and Pro. But 
those big ones. Um, if you're in network, if you're not networking now, core is still the best way to go. Um, and then if you're going to use uh, an option like Got Photo, where you're selling online, um, and you need that command folder, and the command folder is not the easiest thing, so you have to have a little bit of a background and in, in writing some um, command lines if you're actually building your own. So let's close Pro, and we're just going to go into Core and look and see what the differences are. We've already gone over the differences. Um, whoops. Um, the but you can see the list of printers is still big. It just doesn't include those big printers. Um, network options. You can see server is left out, but everything else is the same for the most part there's uh, all the features that you would have the workflow options are the same so I typically recommend go for core if you're thinking about it and then there is darkroom assembly and we're just gonna uh, touch on this very quickly because it is handled by desktop darkroom uh, the sales and support we actually don't sell it so in uh, darkroom assembly the thing that makes it different and uh, very powerful is the option to import information data um, via a CSV file. So if you're working with, let's say, um, schools or large sports the sports leagues, um, they will have, uh, hopefully they'll supply you with a CSV file of all the kids uh, organized by class and grade, their teacher's name, their ID number, their first name, last name, and uh, you can output IDs for schools, uh, output a, a PSPA CD for yearbook, um, the things that you would need to uh, work with a school. That's uh, Darkroom Assembly. It has the option to import and merge data with the photo. So when you click on the photo, it tells you all the data that's associated with that photo. So if you want to learn more about Darkroom Assembly, you'll want to contact Desktop Darkroom out of Jacksonville, Florida and uh, Chris should be able to help you out with it. But very specifically, Core Edition in Pro, more than likely Core Edition is the way to go, unless you have, I would say, a large printer and you need Pro specifically to run that large printer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. Most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.